So let's talk about the width or the breadth of the pulse. So talking about width or breadth, we are referring to a thin pulse or a thready pulse or a, an overflowing pulse. When the pulse is too broad or too thin, it is not considered normal. So what is a thin pulse? A thin pulse is like a thin person, shows less substance or in, and is often seen in blood or yin deficiency. But if a pulse is thin and wiry, it shows both yin deficiency and excessive tension, such as dryness and tense organ with heat conditions. Threaded pulse. This is a pulse with less fluid and less tension. Soft as cotton thread. In fact, this is how we describe the threaded pulse. Cotton thread. This shows deficiency of both yin and yang, blood and chi, and a very weak organ. So remember, threaded pulse is a very weak yin and yang, a very deficient chi and blood. Overflowing pulse. This is a full pulse showing fullness of in or blood and fluid. This is a large, broad, and full pulse, which seems not only to be full and hard to press down, but when you press down, it escapes from both sides of the finger. Slippery pulse is a special pulse quality that does not actually fit into any of the five categories. It shows stagnation of thick fluid. It has a special quality, which takes some time to recognize, but once you have felt it, you will never miss it again. It feels like trying to press your finger on a drop of mercury or a pearl, but it keeps slipping smoothly and quickly away. A slippery pulse can be large or small. This indicates the qual quantity of fluid that is stagnant in the organ. If you find a slippery pulse on the lung position, it means there is stagnation of mucus. If you notice slippery pulse in the kidney position, then there is water retention. A slippery pulse can also mean that there may be a tumor present in the organ. Most tumors are caused by stagnation of body fluid, local capping, back shoe points, and luo connecting of young organs would be helpful in these cases. Normal imbalances in pulse diagnosis. The best time to feel the pulses is early morning when the yin of the night has not left the body and the yang of the day has not quite gained dominance. The patient must have an empty stomach as much as possible, certainly without coffee or black tea. He could either sit at a desk with their arm out, with their arm extended on it, with the wrist turned out so they could lie on a bed or they could lie on a bed and do the same. The therapist must be on the side of the patient with their fingers at right angles to the patient's wrist. The middle finger of the therapist should be on the prominence of the styloid process of the radius. Their index finger between the middle finger and the distal wrist fold. The ring finger should be placed proximal to the middle finger at the same distance away as between the other two. If there is a difference between the strength of the left and right pulse, this could mean a man is more young than a woman, so his left hand can have stronger pulses. A woman can have stronger right hand pulses in general. Remember, the wife is always right. If the left hand is much weaker in man or woman, it means they have a general young deficiency. If all the pulses of the right hand are weak, then a general yin deficiency. If the patient has eaten recently, the stomach pulse may be full. It should be taken at another time to make sure this was the cause. But if between the two hands, one side is very weak, that is not normal. <clears throat> the other important consideration is the peak energy time and least energy time, according to the organ clock. If the pulses are red at 9 a.m., the spleen could be very strong, and this is, would not be abnormal. At noon, the liver and gallbladder pulses could be weak.